wanted to show you an Android app that is about how long to cook a steak. What it really is is a demo of spinners. And here's what it looks like. There is a spinner that will determine the level of how done you want your steak, sort of rare, medium, rare, medium, medium, well, well. And another spinner that says how thick your steak is one inch, one and a quarter, one and a half, up to two inches. And then when you make your choices, medium, uh, one and a quarter inch, then it'll determine how long to cook your steak. And then if you were to change how much done you wanted, it will clear out the calculation. And if you change the thickness of the steak, it will also clear out the calculation, forcing you to click the button again. So here is the, the layout, the activity underscore main. It has a text view that says uh, doneness. That is the label for the spinner, which is below it, the done the spinner. Then there is the spinner. There is a spinner in Android is a single pin. So you see nowhere here in design the, the options. That's like different than say JavaScript. So we will add the options in code. You will see that when we get to the main activity, KT. So here's the spinner. It's the spinner for doneness. So I call it SP doneness. There's a text view here that says thickness and it is the, the label for the spinner of thickness. Then here's the second spinner, the spinner for the thicknesses of the stake. And there's a button to induce the calculation. And finally, the text view for displaying the result, how long to cook the steak. Now we need the options to put into those two spinners. And I'm going to show you two different ways to do it. One, in each case, there's going to be an array of options. And in one case, it's going to be uh, what I'll call a resource array. So here I am in in the res folder in resources, in values, in strings XML. And there we defined in that XML a string array. So there's an open string array and a closed string array tag with a, an attribute of the name of this string array, which is I'm calling doneness. And then there are items, rare, medium, rare, medium, medium, well. So those are the what you see in that first list. So the first spinner will be populated from this resource array. Okay, and that was in values under strings. So when I made sort of a hello world, uh, it gave me this one resource of the name of the app. And then I sort of added this other one. Now let's go to the activity, main activity. So here is my other array, it's a code array. <clears throat> I put it above on create, though I think all of my work in this app is, is in OnCreate. So I could have put it at the top of OnCreate rather than above OnCreate. But this would allow me to use it in um, other methods outside of OnCreate if I had any. Okay, here's my usual connecting the widgets and the design widgets over to a code version. So here's my code version of the button, my code version of the text view for the result, my code version of the spinner for the doneness, and my code version for the spinner for the thickness. The loading of the, trying to make a little bit more room. The loading of the spinner is done by what's called an array adapter. So here I'm making an array adapter for the doneness levels. I'm using the array adapter class. I'm, this is the one where I'm creating it from the resource. So I use a method create from resource. It wants a context, which I'm using just this. Then it wants uh, the array, which was in the resources and it was an array and it was called doneness. And then this is what the little items and drop down will look like they will they will have a a simple spinner item look which will be just a very simple sort of text view sort of minimal nothing to it text view and then 
so that was setting up the array adapter. And now here is the array adapter being assigned to the adapter for the spinner. And that I'll say populates the spinner with the levels of doneness. Then I'll go move on to the uh, event handler for the spinner. And what I want to do, if you remember in the beginning when uh, they changed the level of doneness, if there had been any calculation, it will clear it out. So on item selected, um, I am grabbing the doneness level and toasting it out. So in case you wanted to do something with the level, it is uh, there for you to work with. But what I'm really doing is clearing out the, the TV results, setting the text equal to a bunch of dashes. You have to have this other on nothing selected method, but I'm not doing anything there. So it's just open, close, curly bracket. Here's my second spinner, the spinner for the thicknesses. So again, I need uh, an array adapter. This array adapter, I'm working in code. So I work, uh, I don't need a method, I'm working straight with the array adapter. And uh, the, the order is switched here, so it has a different signature. So again, it needs a context, and then it needs a, a sort of a layout, uh, sort of how it's going to look, and then the array. So the, the array, used, these two, uh, the second and third arguments are sort of switched from what we saw above, and it's also, there's no from resource here. And then say that the spinner's adapter is the array adapter we just made. So effectively populating the thicknesses of the stake. And then here is the event associated with the stake. Again, we have access to what they chose. We have it via a, an index I. So I know that they chose the ith one if I'm working with some arrays. I have access to the view, that's what you see. So I can grab that and grab its text and turn that into a string. So I can either know its position in some array. I think the long is a duplicate of that, but just cast as a long rather than an int. I have uh, the view. But what I'm really doing here is just clearing out my answer. But I do have access to other the other information, which I may need for other versions of my spinner. Finally, my button event, I am finding the ID of the doneness. And in this particular case, I can do my calculation with that because it's zero for rare, one for medium rare. And so I can, in this particular case, it's just an example of this particular case, uh, I can work with these numbers. But in general, what I would normally be doing is taking this number and finding the corresponding array or maybe a parallel array and getting something from that array. But in this case, I'm going to work directly with this number. I also get the thickness. The thickness, I'm getting the, instead of the selected ID, I'm getting the selected item. But the selected thickness was a number, but it was, uh, it doesn't know it's a number. Uh, so I have to convert it, cast it to a string, and then do a double. Then I finally do my calculation. I don't know if this calculation is correct for, so don't trust me on how to cook your steak. It's just an example of an Android app, but I'm doing some calculation based on those two pieces of information, and I am displaying the result. And that's what I wanted to show you.